I'm Peter Williams. I'm with AWS Financial Services and I've had the pleasure of working with KX and their partner, First Derivatives. Uh, actually, for many years before I was at AWS, um, I was a customer of uh, actually both firms and um, now I've been at AWS for almost three years. And the agility that we're seeing in financial services using the cloud is really amazing to me. And this is the business I'm in. And I'm continually surprised by the agility that companies uh, in our industry are having. The ability to use a database that scales up, that scales down, that's spanning availability zones or, or data centers um, automatically for you so that you can focus on AI and other business results that your company needs, it's, it's just amazing. I'm going to briefly talk about the cloud and what it means to financial services. The cloud is really not a technology upgrade. Uh, this is not uh, tech 2.0. It's really a business transformation. And it's because companies can no longer have to worry about scaling up, scaling down. They don't, they don't want to worry about where's my database and is it going to be reliable. I just want to run my AI and get my results. Um, and that's the amazing thing about what KDB is doing uh, on AWS. The infrastructure on demand point, I remember years ago working at a big bank, and by the way, before AWS, I've only been in financial services, so I've seen the pain of a lot of these things, waiting months for infrastructure, uh, and a lot of people who are new to the cloud are excited about just, I can get you know, on-demand infrastructure right now. You scale up, I have 100 or 1,000 servers running, but actually it's the services that is so powerful. Yes, uh, infrastructure on demand, the ability to get horsepower that you need right now, unlimited storage effectively, uh, is kind of game changing, but it's really another, another thing when you can use services to do so much of what have been painful uh, and time consuming, but were really important to get right. Things like high availability, things like you know, scaling and not being limited by your infrastructure when you have peak demand. Uh, there could be a market crisis, there could be a massive uh, calculation requirement of your firm that you did, didn't anticipate, and all of a sudden you need a lot more horsepower. You don't want to have to worry about tuning KDB up and down to get there. The ability to, to do, you know, whether it's automatic scaling, data replication, uh, security as a service, massively powerful. And again, allows you to focus on your differentiator. Um, and that to me is why the cloud is such a, a business transformation because all of a sudden you can focus on what makes them your special, what, what makes your bank or your hedge fund or your asset management firm unique and competitive. That's where your uh, resources, where you want your resources to really be focused. Just to touch a little bit on what KX has done, this went live KDB on Marketplace, on Amazon Marketplace. That's another huge innovation in the sense that now you can actually pay by the hour. You can spin up a KDB instance, run it for a couple hours, try it out, get comfortable with it, and then shut it down. Um, that takes away a lot of the work of having to set things up, having to install it. It's just a, a one-click operation and enables you to focus on using it for the value that, that you need for your firm. So quite exciting and, and really a very different um, model that allows you to sort of pay per use in the same way that you use services in the cloud and you're paying for only the time that you're using them. This model is consistent with that and moving towards a much more modern way of, of using software. You can use KDB in a variety of ways in the cloud. One of them is on AC2, like you would do from Marketplace. Another is using containers. Amazon has Amazon EKS, which is Kubernetes managed for you so that, again, you're using a service uh, to run containers. You don't have to worry about installing and configuring and setting things up. Um, you want to focus on being able to scale. KDB on FSX, that was a real step forward. What does FSX mean? Managed file system. This is managed luster behind the scenes. And it means that you're actually able to run KDB and you don't have to worry about performance. You don't have to worry about availability. It's, it's just making it available for you. Uh, so really a breakthrough, I think, in terms of using KDB. This is a database that's so important to so many customers throughout our industry. And again, now there's so much less to worry about the demand that you have for the performance and capabilities that KDB and Q within it provide uh, and actually going live with it and actually running it and not having to worry about availability and, and, and scaling.
KDB can also be configured with Weka.io. And Weka.io is a different way of using, again, a file system that is massively scalable, um, spans availability zones, um, highly, highly performant, um, and allows you to really uh, tune the way KDB is used um, in the cloud. And finally, KDB and ObjectiveFS is another way. So depending on what your needs are and how you want to run uh, KDB in the cloud, you've got a variety of different options. Thank you very much.